don't take metformin until you watch this. Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Tergen. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and today I'm going to give you some really cool information. So stay tuned. Let's talk about this. Number one, are you on the brink of starting metformin or thinking about stopping the metformin? Well, hold that thought in your prescription. It is time to dispel myths and eliminate the facts shrouded by internet lore. Here are some key points about metformin. Firstly, rest assured that metformin's safety record is commendable for masses. It's been there for 40 years, right? And people are still taking it. So kidney function needs your attention, though. If your creatinine clearance says adios below 30, ask your doctor what it is, then part ways with metformin. So kidney function below 30, nothing. Dancing above that, let's say, but below 60, so between 30 and 60. Well, keep your metformin not exceeding 1,000 milligram, though. Now, let's talk about B12, or rather the potential deck thereof as sidekick, often sidelined by metformin's presence, right? Be vigilant. Regular B12 supplementation isn't just a good idea. It is a necessity if you're on metformin, and for type 2 diabetics in general, too, but especially people on metformin. So we actually have now very powerful B12 drops on our website. So it's new. I would say go check it out. It has a pretty cool packaging. Very nice. You will love it. So sugarmds.com. Now, let's talk about the gastrointestinal voyage with metformin. It could feature the occasional or chronic storm of diarrhea, right? It can happen to some people for years and they don't know what to do with it. And know this, our resilient companion sometimes finds itself among the recalls, right? Due to contamination disturbances. You hear that? FDA recalled metformin this year, a couple years ago, did it again 10 years ago, whatever, right? Lastly, the plethora of peculiarities. One may experience behavioral mimicry of intoxication. Drowsiness. Now, people come and say, I'm drowsy, I'm on metformin. Lack of strength. Loss of strength happens sometimes. Unusual sleepiness and restless slumber may also sneak into your nocturnal regimen. So, think about that. It's not a very innocent drug. Now, dietary considerations. Now, taking metformin in the world of medicine and nutrition, the dance between the meds and meals is a big deal. Even if it doesn't always steal the spotlight. Take metformin, for instance. It is crucial for patients and healthcare folks to team up with a balanced diet when bringing metformin on board. So, for example, watch out those carbs that they can stir up metformin's tummy troubles. So if you're a junk food eater and you just want to take metformin and keep eating what you're eating, and you're not careful, well, you're going to pay for it. Keep those carb levels steady across your meals and low. And metformin might also play the nutrient game too. So keep an eye on what you eat, especially high carbohydrate. fast release carbohydrates will devastate your stomach. Now, besides loading up on that B12, make sure your meal is stacked with folate as well and other B vitamins to tackle any tricky nutrients that metformin snags right from you. Now, how about everybody's concerns? Can metformin script prescription a tragedy of cancerous proportions or sketch of a kidney failure narrative? Well, research and experts wave off these plot twists. Metformin is not the villain in such sagas. Rather, it is essential to recognize that the contamination incidents concerning metformin, though relatively rare, but still occur, and by the time you know it, you already consumed it for a long time. So FDA is not very, unfortunately, should I say, timely. They will take their sweet time to test things uh, and then find things years later to say, oh, by the way, uh, what you took for years was not good. So, anyhow, these contaminations often involve the presence of nitrosamine impurities, or sometimes they're actually carcinogens. Well, that's what the FDA says, at least, right? And FDA does surveillance on everything, pharmaceutical, non-pharmaceutical, although they say they do not really do non-pharmaceuticals. They do handpick non-pharmaceutical successful supplements and they find a reason to take them off the market, right? But sometimes impurities, real impurities, can happen in metformin batches, at least that's what they say, right? They initiate recalls, etc. Now, let's explore the alternatives to metformin. Metformin reigns as a time-honored sentinel in the battle of type 2 diabetes. You cannot deny that, right? People are still taking it. People are still happy with it. I mean, a lot of people are, but most people are also not happy. So, 
So if you're not happy about it, that's okay. There are promising candidates out there. Your doctor will not talk about this. For example, dehydroberberine, cousin of berberine, which is a much better absorbable form of regular berberine that you, most of you know. And if you do some research about uh, berberine, you will find a ton of studies. Will FDA approve it? No. Why? Well, you know why. It's nothing in there, right? For At least for the big, big giants. It's nothing for them. So they want to sell something for $1,200 to make money. So they're not going to sell berberine for 20 30 bucks and make money out of it. So... Good luck with that, getting FDA approved. So super berberine we have on our website has dehydroberberine, so you can check that out. You don't have to buy it from us, but I can tell you, we can rest assured that our products will be high quality, pretty tested, and always at your service at any time. You can trust us. Now, this compound, dehydroberberine, is an age-old medicinal herb, right? It comes from the berberine, like I said. It becomes more bioavailable when you turn into dehydroberberine, just like the the thiamine benfetiamine story, right? So benfetiamine is a much more absorbable form of thiamine. So a lot of people prefer benfetiamine over thiamine, which we had on our website as well. And you can find on other pharmacy shelves too. But the clinical insights suggest that the dehydroberberine not only mimics the glucose lowering effects of metformin, but does so with a significantly reduced risk of gastrointestinal upset, unlike metformin, marking it as a noteworthy consideration for individuals seeking a gentler alternative. Additionally, it is potential in modulating lipid, which is cholesterol metabolism, reducing insulin resistance, right? Dehydroberberine does all that, and aiding in the weight management, giving you more energy instead of taking your energy away, underscores it is utility in multifaceted approach to type 2 diabetes management. It can even be used with metformin. There's studies, you know, that you can use berberine, dehydroberberine with metformin, and they actually have been shown to complement each other. So in the scholarly quest for optimal therapeutic outcomes, the guys, I'm telling you, the exploration of dehydroberberine, which is what we have in sugar and the super berberine, offers a beacon of hope for those navigating the complexity of diabetes management. I'm not saying that's a miracle, right? Just like metformin is not a miracle, but you do everything you can to improve your health, to get better, even if it is just one step at a time. So in conclusion, I would say don't believe every horror story you hear about metformin, but be cautious, consult with your doctor, right? Doesn't mean that you have to take your doctor's advice blindly, you know, because you have a brain, you can think about it, you can make your own decisions. You look at your kidney function, you know, your doctors are sometimes busy, they may not pay attention to your kidney function, maybe... You know, maybe your kidney function is low and you're still on metformin. You know, they miss that. So keep in mind the side effects may arise like any anti-diabetic medication. But at the end of the day, remember, knowledge is your ally. So stay curious, stay educated, and may your therapeutic decisions be as informed as they are wise. Talk to you later. See you at SugarMDs.com. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.